And now for Hillary's God's Balls. <clears throat> Clinton, Clinton, Bush, Bush, Clinton, Clinton. Bush Clinton Clinton Bush Bush Clinton Clinton Go and give 
soldier's dead And the bill Best of friends Yeah, George is dead Bush, Clinton, Clinton Bush, Bush Clinton, Clinton Thank you. Good night. Our viewers, just a, a time when Clinton was asked about whether it was time to move past a uh, Clinton and Bush dynasty. Let's listen. Senator Obama mentioned the generational issue, and when we look at returns and exit polls, there is something going on there. And we've got a question along those lines from Karen Roper from Pickens, South Carolina. She asks um, to you, Senator Clinton, that you have claimed that your presidency would bring change to America. I'm 38 years old, and I have never had an opportunity to vote in a presidential election in which a Bush or a Clinton wasn't on the ticket. How can you be an agent of change when we have had the same two families in the White House for the last 30 years? <laughs> well, as I have often said, I regret deeply that there is a Bush in the White House at this time. Uh, but I think that uh, what's great about our political system is that we are all judged on our own merits. You know, we come forward to the American public, uh, and it's the most grueling political process one can imagine. We start from the same place. Nobody has an advantage, no matter who you are or where you came from. You have to raise the money. You have to make the case for yourself. And I want to be judged on my own merits. I don't want to be um, advantaged or disadvantaged. Uh, I'm very proud uh, of uh, my husband's administration. I think that there were a lot of good things that happened, and those good things uh, really changed people's lives. The trajectory of change during those eight years went from deficits and debt to a balanced budget.